Margaret. Right. That was so cute then. Did you see all those kids? I don't know if they're on a school trip or something. What? Hi guys, this is me. I'm Storm Stacy. I race in the British Superbike Championship and I'm a bit different. I hope you enjoy the video. Storm Stacy hunting them down as well, number 79. That's great to see on the star line, Kawasaki. Yeah, really talented lad is Storm Stacy. Um, in anything, anything that's got wheels and an engine, he can go really quick. I saw him getting a, a go kart first time ever and he was blindingly fast in it. Someone wants a sign knee slider. No problem. I always keep a few in here. Just so if anyone wants one, jobs are good and I'm ready to go. He's got one. Here at Storm Stacy Racing Limited, we don't like to leave anyone disappointed. <laughs> Smile on your face and you've had a good day. That's it. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. It's easy as that. Should have sold it for about two pound fifty or something. Then. <laughs> Them boxes are tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Track's nice and dry now. Let's have a good one. Cut to one track clips. So catch me if I with a bit of ignition in cut and stuff like that, and cylinders and fueling and, and, and it's one of them, it's, it's not really, it's hard going into a, a race weekend testing stuff like that where you should be testing it on a test day really to, to properly understand but we've ended up 23rd or something in that session there so it doesn't look good but what I was riding then is a complete test, we're testing the way it's working and now the throttles are working and you might be able to hear it on some of the clips, the bike was like really blah 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 like really choking on the bottom. Um that sounds wrong, choking on the bottom. But, <laughs> but that's the way the fueling works and, and 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 but the overall power's a lot better the way they've done it. We just need to figure out the fueling to get that right. Now it's time to get the helmet prepped. Ready for round two. Good job. I've done the session. Used a few tear offs. It's now time to drop the helmet off at AGV. They'll uh, prep it all for me, get it all ready. And we'll just go to the next session. So catch me if I Again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go steady with this music, my love. Legend, the one and only Storm Stacy. Thank you. You're looking really good, dude. You're looking like I don't know. You suit blue. I've noticed you've got blue as part of your uh, your gear as well. 
Yeah, yeah, the, I, I like the blue, I think it stands out, it's bright, it's different. I, 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 the main colours I wanted was the bright blue and I wanted pink for this year. There's going to be some more colours coming as well. And obviously we have the beige, that was always my main colour. But yeah, no, I, I like the bright blues, I like bright colours, it's all positivity in it. It's, all, uh, all, stand out. all of us are fans and we look at the timesheets and I was like, saw you down the bottom and I went, that's not you, you mean? So that's why it's nice to have you up. And we're constantly trying to learn, we're constantly trying to find that next bit to progress to, 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 we don't want to be top 10 all the time, it's mega, but we want to be chasing that top 6, top 5. To do that, you need to think outside the box, you need to do something that top teams are doing and, and, and testing and trying and it's just the way it's got to be. I would just like to get all Storm Stacey fans, top hats, t-shirts, anything, just all together and we'll see how big it all is now. So one of the things it's grown massively. It has me and I can't I can't get my head around it to be honest. You're a young man and it's like what I love about Storm is no matter where he finishes in the race, he will always take time for the fans and all of us know. You know, go around, you wave, you'll stop it, you wheelie. I can't do that sort of stuff. You can, I love it. And I think, yes. Brilliant. Keep it going, man. Keep it yeah, going. Yeah, no, the, the, you guys are what come and put the money into the sport and, and come and support us and watch us. The least you can do is wave on a cool down lap. It's uh, it, and just acknowledging that you're actually there. I know not many not many riders do. They want to get back, and I, I appreciate that. That's fine. But but they're not on the banks watching us. You guys are. So it's it's the minimum. Ladies and gentlemen, Storm Stacy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, dude. My sister's vlogging from a YouTube channel. You got anything you want to say on the vlog? <laughs> subscribe. Yes. Subscribe. Alfie says subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll, uh, we'll get started. Um, yeah, so Donington Park, it's uh, to mega track, a lot of history to it. I really enjoy riding around here. I've had some good results. I've gone from the back of the grid in 600 races and finished second. You've got crater curves, no matter how many times you do crater curves, you go out of pit lane, your gut will still drop as you go down that hill. It's always pretty spectacular. I wear the top hat to keep in memory of my dad because my dad always wore a top hat. And uh, yeah, do what I can for mental health to show people that if I can still do it, then anyone can. It's, uh, it's a cruel world we live in, but you've just got to keep plugging away. So thank you guys, well done. Where is it? He's here. We're Moments later, has crashed out, and that means yellow flags. This is Redgate Corner. Yep, here we go. What's happening to the big? Ah, I'm gonna say it's gotta be the front. It was a little bit greedy on the brakes there, chattering away as well. Yep, it's quite a common crash that. No stranger to that one myself back in the day. <laughs> No going out. No. Oh dear. Struggling. Yeah. So, it's not going to plan. The weekend is very much not going to plan. So from Friday through practice one, we are having a misfire. The bike wasn't quite running right. We kind of wasted that session really, just trying to understand why it was doing what it was doing. They put new coils on the bike. It solved that problem. The bike was mega, feeling like, yeah, we're back. We're on it now. But unfortunately, we're on the back foot now because we're going into FP2 trying to set the engine braking up and trying to dial the bike in, which is what FP1's for really, you kind of get everything out of the way in that session. Um, then going into finishing FP2, we're still struggling with engine braking a lot, it was backing in a lot, or then it wasn't backing in, or 
it's backing in too much but they're not enough some places so it's just refining and getting it right which takes time but unfortunately we didn't have time going into this morning session well midday free practice three um, you get 10 minutes before you're qualifying so you're kind of pushing but not pushing too hard but just enough to get a good idea of what the bike's doing so I was pushing away but still the engine braking was so so varied like some corners it'd be really good and then other corners it'd be like revving up and trying to go past the corner um, it's just about dialing it in I, I mean it's not really my domain I don't know unfortunately I don't know how to work the laptop I don't know how to change it um, but I, I trust my data guy I, I, I believe he knows what he's doing he's got a good understanding of what he's doing he's always made the bike feel mega for me just unfortunately we're just really struggling at the minute we have been changing the throttles um, so the torque pattern and the drive and everything and we're trying to do different things to make the engine braking more severe um, which is, is better it is getting better but it's understanding how to do it and how to do it consistently Whereas Luke's bike feels pretty good to him, he's really enjoying riding it, he's not had the problems we've had. It's just unfortunately one of them weekends where we are having problems and, uh, and everything isn't going the way we want it to and I really don't want to make a habit of having bad Fridays. Friday, Fridays I want to be free practice one, hit the ground running, on it, no messing about. And then yeah, qualifying I've just uh, lost the front into turn one, just, just went in deep. I'm right, I was riding so hard, like so hard, I was pushing the front so hard, I was endoing a lot, I was losing the back end, I was, I was riding just really, really hard, I mean it's qualifying, you're pushing on, everyone's pushing on, it's the way it goes, so last, two, last two sectors I was the fastest through them by, by a bit, and, and sector one I was not far off, middle sector I'm losing 0.4, I don't, I don't know where that's, where that's going, it's something we're going to look at tonight, and I'm, I've, I've watched race one from today, and because I've had to sit it out because the bike's been too, too badly damaged, they've had to re reframe the bike, it was a good race, mega to watch, it's the first time I've ever been on the BSB grid without my bike, um, it's a weird atmosphere, it's very humbling, the boys are rebuilding the bike now, they're doing an absolutely mega job, I know the bike will be back together and it'll be ready, it'll be tight, it'll be straight, it'll be fast, ready for tomorrow. So I'm not a clue where I'm starting tomorrow when I've got warm-up in the morning. So I'll do warm-up, I'll feel comfortable as hell, I'll be fast as hell and I'll be back. Storm Stacy will be back. So, how are you feeling today? Good. Uh, we've made a few changes for this morning. That was louder. Yeah, definitely louder. <laughs> um, yeah, we've made a few changes for this morning. We've changed the gearing and stuff. Just to... we're having a lot of problems with, with electronics at the minute, and, and, and it's a hard thing because you can't really rush the process. You can't really like find a cheat code for it or anything. You've just got to try and understand how to make it work and what works for you. I've got my sister here vlogging for me for this weekend to do a YouTube video and that's a, my YouTube videos need to come back and trying to pick a camera up when you're having a bad weekend is really hard. When you're having a good weekend, picking up a camera is lovely. You want to just tell everyone exactly what's going on. But it's hard. I, I talk about mental health and stuff like that. It's hard when you're having a bad weekend. When you're having a bad weekend, everyone wants to see you smile and everyone wants to see you happy. Now, I am always happy. I'm always smiling because you've got to keep it two separate things. Whatever happens on that bike is separate to what happens here on this stage. I'm a different person to on that bike to on here. So it's it's a hard thing, it's really hard because you, you try not to bring your problems out to the world. You've got to try and keep positive and I always try and keep positive and that's why music for me is a massive thing. If I'm listening to good tunes then, then I'm away. It lifts you up and I'm sure we all have tunes in the car or out on the bike or when we're running that lift us up. I think that's a really good way to end this interview. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please put your hands together for the one and only Storm Stacy. Out and it did 80 mile an hour everywhere, obviously. <laughs> and um, 
Yeah, that's, that's what I was, uh, I added out. I was actually doing stand-up wheelie on it once. The foot peg snapped on me while I was doing the stand-up wheelie. Truck racing is something I'd like to have. <laughs> Again, because I do it every day. So, let's do it on the track. I hope you've enjoyed that, a good insight to how a bad weekend can go at racing. It's hard, you've got to try and keep yourself motivated, keep yourself positive. It's not all glamour in racing, it does get hard, it does get mental, like for your mental health it's really hard, you've got to try and keep yourself up. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching, you've seen all the stuff behind the scenes of how we do it, what I have to go through on a day, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, see you in the next video.